This is how to install the Shasta combs for the no warp ends method of warping. The first thing you're going to do is adjust the height of your loom by turning the wing nuts in a counterclockwise motion until the loom stands at the height you want. This is very important for this particular method of warping because your piece is going to be exactly as long as your loom is tall from the top of the bottom beam to the bottom of the top beam. Now putting the combs on is very simple. Simply take one of your combs and place it on the top beam of your loom so that the tines are at the bottom of the top beam and facing towards you. Then take another comb and place it on the bottom beam of the loom so the tines are at the top of the bottom beam and again facing towards you. Now this comb will be a little bit loose while you're warping. So all you need to do is take a piece of string and just temporarily uh, tie that on there. Once you've started warping, you can remove this string. Now all you need to do is take any piece of warp thread and you're just going to tie it to one of the tines. This can be on the top or on the bottom of your loom. Once you've done that, you need to start warping. This is very easy. So you're just going to zigzag on your loom. So you bring it down to a tine at the bottom from the top and loop around that and then come back up to the top, loop around that tine, go to the bottom, loop, top, loop. You can also warp every other tine if you want um, different oh, spacing, if you want your warp threads spaced a little bit further apart. So you just keep doing this for as wide as you want your piece to be. Now, one of the advantages of this type of warping method on a Merix loom is that you don't need to make sure your tension is tight when you do this. You just need to make sure it's even because you can go and adjust the tension once you have already worked your piece. Also, if you don't keep even tension for one reason or another, uh, you can go in and adjust your tension after you've warped by moving your warp threads like this and distributing your tension. So once you have reached uh, the end where you are done warping, um, all you do is tie it on right there and that is it. And then we can remove the string that we put on and we can tighten our tension by again turning the wing nuts in a counterclockwise way. And that is it.